So you're looking at buying 3D print filament on Amazon. In today's video, I present to you the top five 3D print filament that's sold on Amazon. I did a ton of research and I found the best for you. And you might be wondering to yourself, hey Chris, how did you find this data on the best filament for 3D printing? That's a very good question. What I did was I did a deep dive and a complete deep dive, guys. I went through Reddit, just spending relentless hours looking at all the brands and subreddits of people asking questions because let's be honest, there's so much info here. Then I went into the Facebook groups on 3D printing and God, there's just so much info, people asking this. I think somebody asks a filament question probably every 20 minutes, right? All right, guys, enough rambling. Let's get into the top five filaments sold on Amazon. And don't forget, if you're interested in buying, check out my affiliate link in the description. Number one on our list is Hatchbox. This brand is very well known in the 3D printing community. Praised for its reliable and consistent quality. Their PLA filament stands out for its superb accuracy, smooth finishes, and wide range of colors and finishes, including metallic, silk, and glow-in-the-dark options. It's a favorite among both beginners and seasoned 3D printing enthusiasts for its ease and dependable results. It's known for its superb dimensional accuracy, wide range of colors and finishes, and its reliable daily use. A small con that some people comment on is minor stringing issues. Number two on the list is eSun. PLA Pro is a standout product for its strength and glossy finish. This filament is 10 times stronger than regular PLA, making it ideal for detailed and durable prints. It's known for excellent layer bonding and adhesion, resulting in perfect prints with a smooth and shiny finish. It's known for its high strength and rigidity, also its smooth and glossy finish, and of course its excellent layer adhesion. One setback is it requires a high temperature to print. Number three on the list is Polymaker's Polymax PLA, or just Polymaker in general. The Polymax PLA is renowned for its toughness and smooth surface finish. It produces prints that look completely fused with no visible layers, minimizing warping and ensuring strong, durable results. Although it's a more expensive than some other brands, its quality makes it worthwhile. What it's known for is being tough and durable, having a smooth surface finish, and having minimal warping. One of the biggest setbacks to this, though, is it's expensive. The fourth best filament on the list is Overture. They offer affordable PLA filament without compromising on quality. Known for its smooth feeding and odor-free printing, Overture filament is available in a wide range of colors and ensures consistent for reliable printing. It's a great choice for those looking to expand their color library without breaking the bank. Some pros to Overture filament is it's affordable, it's odor-free printing, and there's a huge variety of colors. Some of the setbacks is it's prone to tangling without a filament guide. And our last filament on the list is Sunlu. This brand's PLA is praised for its clean details, reliable colors, and sharp dimensional accuracy. It offers excellent quality at a budget-friendly price, making it one of the best price to performance filaments on the market. It's known for being clean and detailed for its prints. It has reliable colors and it's very budget friendly. One setback though to Sunlu is it can be tricky to get to stick. And lastly guys, I wanna talk about the Amazon Basics filament. I'm probably gonna get roasted on fire for this, but I've personally tried this filament and I've had a lot of good luck with it. And if you check out the reviews, they're actually really good. Checking out some of these images, I mean, these prints don't look bad at all. So hit me up in the comments. Have you tried the Amazon Basics brand? I know it's like the evil of all evils. Everyone hates the Amazon Basics brand because they're stealing customers from these big brands that actually work at this. And it feels like they're just kind of stealing the technology and just running with it. But I'd like to hear your opinion. If you've used it, maybe give it a try if you're on a budget. Because as you can see, the results are pretty dang good. And for most of us, just printing in general PLA, like this could probably do the job. Well guys, there you have it. Hours of extensive research. And hit me up in the comments if you disagree. Did I leave something off the list? Was there a filament that I just forgot to add? Be easy on me though, guys. I did my best here. Again, if you're interested in buying filament, consider using the affiliate links in the description, guys. I will see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.